What's up guys, this is Vanilla. Not a flavor, but just a sweet. And yes, I am in my pajamas again and eating lace or whatever. It's Valentine's Day! Yay! Yeah, Valentine's girl! Now I'm pretty sure all of you are excited, at least some of you, that it's Valentine's Day because you're gonna spend all the day with your loved ones. But then you might be thinking, what if I don't have a loved one? What if I don't have a girlfriend either? Will I spend Valentine's Day alone? Oh no, I'm so lonely. I need someone. I need some. Well, if you do feel like that, then don't worry because I have some recommendations for you. Today, I'm gonna be giving you five or six, I guess, anime recommendations and seven or maybe eight manga recommendations. Now, in these recommendations, I might or might not be talking about the newer shows or the totally overrated shows or maybe even the underrated shows. For the anime section, well, I can probably just show the first episode so that there would be no spoilers. In the manga section, I would only preview those that are shown on the first chapters. So without further ado, let's get started. The first series is Aizu Pure. Now, Aizu Pure is a story about a guy who falls in love with a girl that he worked with during a committee. Being an unlikely couple, their classmates made fun of them all the time. Heck, it went so far as to bullying because the girl is actually a gravier model in secret. Eyes of Pure is a story about two people who are trying so hard to express their feelings. When they do express their feelings, they're always faced with an obstacle which is seemingly impossible to face. And you can't help but feel pity with what these two are going through. So if you want to watch a series where the couple try to face the problem, then I really recommend this series. It's only like 6 episodes and you're gonna enjoy it, I promise you. The next series is Lamune. The story revolves around two childhood friends, Ken and Nanami, and their love story of course. Now there's really not much to say other than their childhood friends who are falling in love because that's basically the whole story. Now why am I recommending this? Because this love story is set in a very peaceful setting. There's no third party, there's no conflicts. It's really just two childhood friends who are, well, acting as friends but they don't know that they are actually falling in love with each other. Also, if you've seen enough Echi Harem, this is quite a relaxing anime to watch. If you want a romance anime with no twists and turns, then I totally recommend this to you. Next in the list is Anonatsu de Matteru, or Waiting for You in That Summer. It's just your usual chatty romance anime and OH MY GOD IS THAT A SPACESHIP?! The story revolves around a boy named Kaito who always carries a camera. But then she captures a girl and then things just start getting crazy from there. He and his friends make friends with a girl to help them film their movie for the school festival. Not knowing that the girl was actually an alien. What I love about this series is that there's a perfect balance between romance and sci-fi and you don't get to see that every day. So if you're looking for a series that's not entirely romance while not being entirely sci-fi, then I recommend this series to you. The next series is Princess Lover. Finally, an MC who is not a pussy! The story begins with a guy named Tepe rescuing a princess named Charlotte. By the way, Charlotte is hot! Turns out Tepe is the grandson of a very powerful man, then he becomes the grandfather's successor. Then he meets this girl who is, by the way, in the hentai OVA. Now I don't guarantee you'd have the same experience as you have if you've played the visual novel, but you might still enjoy it because it's fucking Charlotte! Anyway, great watch, try it. Next on the list is Amagami. Now unlike other romance anime, this one had its own format. It starts off the same, however, during each fourth episode, the heroine changes. Anyway, it's about a guy who was supposed to have a date with the girl, but the girl never showed up and now he's all alone. And so he tries to get back at love by finding other girls that might be interested in him. Each with their own set of circumstances. Perhaps the best way to explain it, it's like playing the visual novel. However, you play a different arc every four episodes. This is definitely a series that you want to watch if you're really tired of Echi Harem but still want your favorite heroine to end up with a hero. 
So if you want to watch a romance series where everyone is happy, then I totally recommend that you check this series out. Which then brings us to Photo Kano. Oh great, another MC with a camera. Okay, I'll get the facts straight. It's pretty much just like Amagami. The MC also meets different girls every episode. You know the drill. But the difference is, the MC already has his own personality while starting out. He also already has a dream, which is to take beautiful photos. So if you're looking for a series that's like Amagami but not Amagami, then try this series out. Last but not least, Yosuga no Sora. Let's face it, you saw this coming. The series revolves around two twins who recently just came back from their hometown. The main character, Haru, meets a lot of girls along the way and eventually falls in love with them. Yes, it follows Amagami's format as well, however, there's a slight difference. And that being incest is wincest. Now there's a lot of naughty scenes on this series, so if you're not really into those kinds of things, then it's okay, you don't need to watch this. But if you're looking for something romantic, dramatic, and something different, then I totally recommend this series. Plus the soundtrack is amazing. So there you go, there are six anime recommendations and one hentai? Borderline hentai and recommendation? I don't really know what to call it. Now let's move on to the manga recommendations. First on the list is Seishin Forget. This manga is about a guy who is just prepped up for school and then suddenly he meets this girl and then he falls in love with them and then suddenly they become lovers in just a single day. Now you may think it's boring but there's a twist. The girl's memory resets every day. Yes, the concept is similar to Ishukan Friends, but this manga is focused more on youth and romantic love. So if you're into light-hearted rom-com, then I recommend you check this series out. The next manga is Shino no Miyuko Love Short Stories. The story revolves around an antisocial guy who works at a library committee. And with him is a mysterious girl named Shino no Miyuko. Now our MC gets close to Shinono Miyuki and finds out that she's actually a famous author for short stories. Anyway, I won't say anything more than that without spoiling the story, you just have to read it yourself because it's really good. The next series is Yasashi Sekai no Tsukuri Kata. It's about a 19 year old professor who- Wait, 19 years old? Professor? Are you fucking serious? Anyway, because of his age, a lot of his students are actually attracted to him. But then there's also this other girl who find out that he is actually from the university and is interested in what the professor was working on. There's a lot of twists and turns in this series, there's even the topic of bullying, so if you're interested in those kinds of romance series, then I recommend you check this one out. Um, Alright, we're recording. Next series is Sayanae Kanojo no Soda Tekata, Koisuro Metoronomu. The story revolves around Kasumigaoka Utaha, who is a famous author and also the classmate of Tomoya. Now because Tomoya was a big fan of Kasumigaoka Utaha, he was made to be her editor. Now being the editor of his number one author, he now has the opportunity to talk and get closer to her. You don't really need to read the main series in order to find out what's going on because her sexy stockings are enough to lure you to read this work. Speaking of alluring, let's talk about Velvet Kiss. The story is about a guy who actually won the lottery. You might think he has great luck, right? Well, you're wrong because suddenly he has a debt that he cannot pay, and not even his lottery winning can free him. And so to repay his debt, he has to go out with this girl. And everything just goes haywire from then on. Now fair warning, this is not for kids because there are some naughty scenes, so try reading this when you're a little older, okay? Next on this list is Domestic Nakanojo. Now this story is about a guy named Natsuo who meets this girl named Tachibara Rui through a mixer. Then she brings him to her house and then asks if they want to have sex. Then the next day, it was later revealed that Rui and the teacher which the main character is in love with Turns out to be. what's amazing is that the author of this manga is also the author of Good Ending. And she's a female by the way. Still ongoing so you might want to check it out. Speaking of family relations, let's talk about Seishin Pump. 
It's about this guy who won't take off his earphones listening to Incest. No, literally Incest, the band. I'm talking about a band, by the way. Then all of a sudden, she meets this beautiful girl. And he's not even satisfied with the girls that's surrounding him, by the way. Anyway, he meets a beautiful girl again in the band. And I can't say more because spoilers. One thing I can say though is that this is a combination of School Days and Yosuga no Sora. Where incest is wincest. Now those are my 7 manga recommendations. However, I just want to share one more. And that is Glass no Megami. This has got to be my favorite romance manga ever. It's about this college student named Sakura who meets a girl while going to the university. As if love at first sight, he invites the girl to dinner. But then Sakura confesses and they do more than just eat dinner if you know what I mean. Then he meets another girl named Aya who wants to be boyfriend and girlfriend with her. And that's when it all gets dramatic. Believe it or not, this is actually the first manga I read when I was 10 years old. Can you believe that? Now yes, there are a lot of sex scenes in this but you actually go more like oh than I totally recommend this. And there you go, some romance anime recommendations and some romance manga recommendations. Now you don't have to spend Valentine's Day lonely. Hope this video helps, and if it did help, leave a like and also subscribe down there for more videos like this. As always, this is Vanilla, not the flavor, which is sweet.